By game day, not even world events could shake the Raiders' focus. We drove to the Superdome and it was a big yellow ribbon around the Superdome. I'm like, what the heck is that on there for? They said, well, the hostages are free. I'm like, hostages? To, oh, that's right. There were some hostages. I was so focused on what was going on. I didn't, I didn't have a clue what was going on in the world. Some would listen to that and say, well, that's great concentration. And others would listen to that and say, that kid, that kid needs a little perspective. But we were there to play one more football game. And to go to that game and not to be prepared to play would have just been awful for what we had already accomplished. It wouldn't have meant anything. Super Sunday, what a day. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's like a dream come true. It's unbelievable. Yes, and we're going to win. We are going to win, no question. It was, it was a great feeling. I was so proud to run out there was kind of like a storybook finish all coming to a head. In some ways, the Super Bowl was anticlimactic because the best team in football, we thought, were the San Diego Chargers. We knew the Eagles had beat us. We knew we could beat them. We knew that if they came in the way that they came into that game, we played them in the season, we could beat them. You know, I was ready once I stepped on that field. I, you know, I still had something to prove to myself and to whoever else. Plunk it on a straight drop back. Here comes the rush. Steps up. Can't find anybody yet. Pitch off running to the left. Rolls on the move. And it's caught by King at the 40. Plunk is eating us alive. In just three months, Jim Plunkett had gone from Heisman bust to super savior. Three touchdown passes capped one of the greatest personal comebacks in NFL history. Jim Plunkett had a masterful game. Rod Martin had a game for the ages. He was everywhere. He was everywhere. He had three interceptions. He wasn't Bobby Chandler, but with a little bit of stick him, he could hang on to the thing. That was probably compliments of the judge. He played as good a Super Bowl as any defender has ever played. Did not get the MVP. Jim Plunkett got the MVP. Jim deserved it, but Rod deserved it just as much. I felt really, really good for Jim because he had paid his dues, just like everyone else, but it meant a lot to him to be the guy that led us through that Super Bowl. It's a great feeling, finally accomplished something that everybody who ever gets in the NFL wants to do.